Hi, I'm Nick Barrett. I'm a consultant in critical care medicine and ECMO at Guy's and St. Thomas's uh, NHS Foundation Trust in central London. And I'm also chair of the Euro ELSO 2022 uh, Congress, delayed from 2020 and 2021, unfortunately. Um, and the president elect of Euro ELSO. And I'd like to take this opportunity to invite you all to come to the next Congress in the beginning of May, 4th to 6th of May, which will be held in central London at the Queen Elizabeth II Congress Centre, right opposite the Houses of Parliament. London's a great place to hold, hold a Congress, uh, particularly on ECMO. I mean, aside from the weather for which uh, Britain is, is very proud, um, we, we have a lot of ECMO happening and a lot of exciting developments of, of ECMO. Uh, in London and in the UK. Uh, so just within London, we have pediat several paediatric centres, adult centres doing VA, VV and ECPR. We have strong links with transplant centres and are doing bridge to transplantation. Um, and of course, the rest of the UK is exactly the same. We have lots of ECMO going on. We're one of the largest contributors to the European uh, and Euro also COVID ECMO database, uh, and we'll hear the results of that uh, from Professor LaRusso during the Congress. Um, so there's, there's lots going on clinically, and it's also a great venue right in the centre of London, uh, opposite the Houses of Parliament, next to Westminster Abbey, by the Thames. Uh, you can't get more iconic London than that. We've got a great Congress lineup, and we know that over the last couple of years, people have gotten used to hybrid meetings and meetings purely uh, online. Um, but we want to give everybody something really exciting to come back to. We know how, how difficult travel can still be. So we've got a great um, on-site lineup with a lot of hands-on practical sessions. We've got lots of educational corners to allow people to to get used to different techniques and practice different things uh, from cannulation to emergency drills. We've got an awful lot of simulation also occurring both in the pre-Congress and the main Congress. And of course, we're covering everything from, from pediatric to adult practice, VV, VA, ECPR, and a particular focus on our multidisciplinary colleagues our physios, our perfusionists, our dietitians, um, our pharmacists, all of whom have so much to add to the program. My favourite part of the program is, is really hard. I'm really looking forward to the hands-on sessions. I'm really looking forward to seeing people in the flesh rather than on the screens. Strangely enough, I'm, I'm looking forward to the, the COVID session. Um, I, in truth, I've had enough of COVID over the last two years. But I'm hoping this will sort of round it out and end it off because it's a COVID what have we learned session. And I'm also really looking forward to some of the ECPR sessions because I think that ECPR, we've got a lot of great results in the literature over the last 12 months, um, including the study of our president, uh, Jan Bolochovic. And it will be um, great to start seeing a little bit more data behind the enthusiasm which many of us have for this approach. Euro also is really at the heart of, heart of collaborative medicine uh, and European cooperation. It's been, it is a family uh, and, a, and a wonderful family at that. At any point, any problems, there's always somebody who can help, always somebody who's seen it before, done it before, looked after that sort of patient before, run into that sort of complication before. So as a, as a medical fraternity um, and a group of wonderful colleagues, um, you can't, can't do better than EuroELSO. I think it's particularly exemplified by the approach of EuroELSO to COVID, where we managed to very rapidly pull together some data to reassure people that patients who were starting on ECMO could get through this, could survive, and that gave hope to a lot of clinicians, a lot of families and a lot of patients.